Meanwhile, the case filed pertaining to the inmates who were killed in the Mahar prison unrest was postponed to the 11th of December. The case was called up today in the presence of Vattala magistrate Buddhika C. Ragala. Eight prisoners among those killed in the riots had tested positive for COVID-19. The case was filed by the Committee for Protecting Rights of Prisoners against the cremation of the remains of the prison inmates who were killed in the unrest. The judicial medical officer of the Ragama Hospital and health staff told the Vattara magistrate the COVID-19 prevention guidelines issued by the health authorities have posed a legal impediment with regard to burying the dead prisoners. However, Seneca Pereira, a lawyer with the Committee for Protecting Rights of Prisoners, told the court cremation of the bodies would pose an impediment to the investigations on the dead and would also pave the way for the perpetrators to evade prosecution. He argued the health guidelines are valid for COVID-19 patients who passed away due to natural causes, however, should not be incorporated with respect to criminal matters such as murder. The case has been postponed to the 11th of December. The Ragama Police OIC was ordered by the court to ensure a representative from the Attorney General's Department is present when the case is called up on the 11th of December. When the motion was filed earlier, the court requested for the health authorities and Attorney General to announce their position on the matter. However, the Attorney General did not attend today's proceedings to present his stance. The cremation of the remains of the prison inmates will be an impediment in ensuring justice is served to everyone. We are against any move that would pave the way for the murderers to escape. The relatives of those who were killed in the unrest must know the truth. This is a crime. Crimes that took place in prison in the past are yet to be brought to justice. They are trying to cremate the remains of the victims. They should carry out post-mortem investigations rather than cremating the remains. Those responsible for the murders must be punished. All crimes cannot be swept under the carpet under the guise of COVID-19.